there. My name is Miss Hinton. I'm the Magnet Coordinator at Athens Drive, and we're going to talk for just a few moments about our magnet theme. So our magnet theme is the Medical Sciences and Global Health Initiatives. Um, certainly, the question might be for you, what does that mean to be a magnet school student? Um, our school is on what's called an embedment model, which means every single student in every class connects the magnet theme of medical sciences and global health initiatives into their individual classrooms. Some folks may have come to Athens because it was their base school. Some other folks may have applied um, as a magnet student. Um, that just means that you were not in our base, but you'd like to come to our school. Um, you may be in an academy, STEM Academy or Health Science Career Academy. It doesn't really matter how you got here or what you're doing, you're going to be uh, connected to the Medical Sciences and Global Health Initiatives theme. All right, and when we chose this in 2016, we this was the data that we were looking at, and certainly things have changed in a even more positive direction as far as job availability, and um, certainly we had a strong medical science legacy at Athens. So um, we started in 1990 as the very first Wake County Career Academy in Health Science. As a result, we have so many alumni that um, chose to go into the medical uh, profession as a result. And uh, these are just a few, you know, couple of examples of folks, whether it be genetic engineering or um, uh, counseling, cognitive neuroscience, uh, all kinds of emergency medicine, pediatrics. So lots of um, things that people go into in medicine, but you certainly don't have to go into medicine and be at Athens Drive. It's incredibly applicable regardless of what your profession might become. So the basics are that you have access to innovative, unique curriculum and that that theme will be in every classroom and you have the opportunity to join an academy if you wanted to, but the academy is not the magnet part. Uh, applying as a magnet student is not the magnet part. We are a magnet school and all students are magnet students at Athens. And so here's a few ways that you might see our theme experienced. One way is the United Nations um, Global Sustainable Development Goals. You know, if you look here, these many countries have gotten together and agreed that by 2030 they would like this to be the picture of our world. Um, and all of these things deal with global health. Uh, you can look at any of these and make the connection, I hope. For example, um, wealth relates to and uh, distribution of wealth and poverty deals with access to health care. Uh, clean water and sanitation definitely connects to health. And uh, like I said, every single one of these ties in. And so you may see these things uh, in your classroom as they tie to global health. Here's just a quick kind of outline. Um, in ninth grade, you would have an introduction to medical sciences and global health theme. In English 1, you would have instructional te intentional texts that were used to relate to the magnet theme. In world history, uh, you're going to be looking at the development of public health and medical sciences throughout world history by investigating how they respond to stress and illness from the ancient past to contemporary times. In your health and PE class, healthful living, we do in a global hunger miss project. And in earth science is another example, um, health impacts of pollution of earth spheres and projects that deal with mining, gallery walks, renewable energy research as it relates to health. Um, now, of course, in ninth grade, you may not take earth science. You might take biology, um, but uh, sometimes it's an earth science, it's a ninth grade course. Um, tenth grade, you'll see we're going to focus more on social and global impacts on humanity. You can see some of the examples there to the right. I won't read them to you. In 11th grade, you're going to be looking more at social determinants of health. So you can see like an English focusing on institutional, historical, legal impact on our uh, public health and of a research project of student choice on imp important topics in global health. And then in 12th grade, we're going to be looking at global health and systems thinking. You know, action oriented. Uh, what can we actually do? We can talk about it, but what can we do to help our world in regards to global health? Um, well, something incredibly relevant right now is uh, COVID-19. So 
we definitely have tied COVID-19 to our magnet theme connections here. Looking at historical context, for example, influenza of 1918 and um, how there are parallels and what we have learned and what we have yet to learn. Definitely looking at global competence, understanding how other cultures, other societies um, interact um, with the virus, with public health in general, uh, the behavioral science behind it, uh, to face mask or not. Uh, certainly looking at innovation and ethics you know, as we create new ideas on how to um, help. Um, there are additional ethical concerns, epidemiology, where does this start? How did it? Start? How does it happen? And then scientific literacy, understanding there's a wealth of, of information out there, but how legitimate is it? How can you determine if a source is um, authentic and reliable? And then the last one is about One Health. Um, one Health, if you look here with me, is how humans and the animal and the environment interact with one another. Um, definitely these all three tie together, how the environment affects our health and the health of animals, how animals affect our health and the health of our environment. And so definitely that one health focus is a big piece of what we do here at Athens and our magnet theme. And uh, as a result, we have a big veterinary medicine program, animal science, where folks can go through and get their vet assisting and get uh, time towards um, moving into a profession in animal science. Then these are just a few other examples how the medical theme would be incorporated. So for example, in English, the choice of the text that they might choose to use, the focus um, on um, the global health and medical science theme, you'll find there. Here's an example of a, um, a pop-up art exhibit that we did dealing with literature, global health, and social issues in seminar doing. Uh, in social studies, we're going to look at it from a historical context and uh, look at the psychological science behind it and as they relate to human geography as well. Here's just a few examples of that. Um, looking at the, the plague with modern infectious disease and world history in uh, human geography looking at uh, turbidity and uh, they're looking at Morocco in particular, but global health and water quality. And in career technical education, we will be focusing on technology and industry standards with the medical science theme. So there will be things such as graphic design, carpentry, culinary arts, engineering, health science, business, uh, apparel, and these projects all tie back in with global health. Now, of course, the standards are uh, taught, but there's this additional layer of the global health context in them. So you can find it throughout our building. And um, the other thing that's kind of nice is that our teachers are leaders in the real world research and project design. So we go and do summer STEM projects. Uh, we work in externships with businesses so that we can learn more about how um, public health and global health um, relate to our curriculum and making those connections. And just a few other examples of our teachers um, out in the real world learning and doing more. Um, and then we, we partner with NIEHS, the National Institute for Environmental Health Science, and um, want to work with them for, and we do multiple occasions throughout the year, every year, um, in conjunction with um, the topics of global health. And so we learn straight from the experts kind of what's going on and how can we connect that to our classroom. All right, so that's kind of the gist of it. I hope that helps. Uh, you'll hear more about it in the uh, upcoming weeks in your classes and certainly hope that you uh, see that magnet theme in, in ways that inspire you um, to, to choose something uh, that'll be your passion for a job. It doesn't have to be medical, like I said. I just really want you to have a chance to look at these uh, important themes um, in your class. Thanks.